Okay, so here's a question about ratios, and really it kind of is a question about the difference between a part-to-part -part versus a part-to-whole ratio or fraction. So let's just talk about that for a moment. We have part-to-part -part ratios, right, and that could be written in that form or as a fraction, right? We should just say right now that ratios and fractions can be exactly equivalent. They can be identical. A ratio is typically written like this, with a, there's a a colon in the middle and a, a number and a number, or it could be written as a fraction like this. It's the same thing. Or we could have a part right, to whole ratio, which is pretty typical for fractions. We have part to whole fraction. Now typically ratios are part to part. That's usually what happens, and usually fractions are written as part to whole, but we can go either way, and we'll explain what these things mean in a moment. Well, sorry, not a moment, we'll do that right now. So let's say we have a classroom, and in that classroom there are two boys, right? Well, actually, uh, right, boy one and boy two. And there are two girls. So we have girl one and, well, we'll make three girls in this class, girl two and then girl three. All right, so what does this mean? Well, it means, obviously, that there are five kids in the class. That's your whole measurement. So when we say part to whole, here, you're, to count the whole, you just add up all the, the things in the set, whether it's boys, girls, or anything else. The whole equals all the elements in the group, or all the pieces that are in your question. So here, the whole equals five. Now, the parts are the, are the boys and the girls. So for boys, right, there are two boys, and for girls, there are three girls, right? So we can write a part to whole, um, fraction or ratio. I could say, oh, there are two boys for every five kids in the class. This is a ratio of boys, right, part to whole, kids, total students in the class. And that could be a fraction. Two-fifths of the class, right, are boys, right? Two for the boys and five for all the kids in the class. I could write an, a different part to whole ratio. I could write three girls to five kids, or three to five, right, for the girls to the whole kids in the group. Now, that's what a part to whole looks like, but, you know, I mean, you, it depends on the context. They might ask you for part to part, right? They might say, well, what's the ratio of boys to girls? So you can say, oh, well, there are two boys for every three girls, right? This is the boys, and that's the girls, and notice if you add up two plus three, that's how you get the whole, right? And of course, now, this is a different ratio. There are three girls for every two boys, but it's essentially talking about the same values, right? And then this can be written, in what I'm saying, as a fraction, three over two, and so can this ratio over here. We can write that as two over three. Now, these are different numbers, of course. It's just how they ask the question. If I was to ask you what's the fraction of boys to girls, you would write two to three. If I was to ask you what's the fraction of girls to boys, you would write three to two. So all this background helps us with this question because here they say, in a class there are 11 boys and 14 girls. So let's do that right now. How many kids are there? Well, 11 boys plus 14 girls equals 25, right, students. So we're assuming that's all the kids in the class. There are 25 students in the class. What is the ratio of the number of girls in the class to the number of pupils or that students in the class? So they're asking you for a part to whole ratio. So you can say that there would be 14 girls for every 25 students in the class. This is girls and this is all the P or pupils in the, in the group. But of course that can be written as a fraction as you notice here. So we have 14 over 25, and that can't be reduced any further. So here the choice is A. Look at the other choices though. Here, 11 to 14, that's a part-to-part -part ratio of boys to girls, right? 11 boys, 14 girls. D is a part-to-part -part ratio of girls to boys, 14 to 11. And B over here is a ratio of all the pupils in the class, right, to the number of girls, so 25 to 14. And they're all correct. They're just not correct in the sense of what they're asking for. They're asking for A, the number of girls to the total pupils, 14 to 25. All right, hope that helped.